the first quarter of the year is over. We are now in Q2, also known as quarter two, new month, new time. Are you setting goals for this new quarter? If so, stay tuned because today I'm gonna talk about the one thing that you need to make sure you're doing before you set your goals for Q2. Hey everyone, welcome to Coffee Chat with Danny. It is a, a beautiful cloudy day here in sunny Southern California. And Coffee Chat is held three times a week. We're here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday bringing you tips, tools, and inspiration to help you become the best possible CEO, lady boss, badass that you are. <laughs> For those of you that don't know me, my name is Danny, and I'm a performance improvement consultant helping entrepreneurs, female business owners, grow and develop the skills that are already inside of them so that they can go out and grow their business. We get clear, we get focused, and most importantly, we get a plan of action that they can execute on a daily basis. They know exactly what they need to do in their business so that they are growing and are not stressed, right? Less stress. All right, everyone. So if you know someone who needs to set some goals or is looking to set some goals, share this out with them because this is some great information. I want to make sure that as many people know about this. <laughs> All right. So it was Friday that I sat down and I did this myself. I do this every quarter. I do this every month. And this time, though, however, I did it with a group of people. Oh, my goodness. The amount of energy that was in that room with these other powerful, ambitious, driven business owners who were all focused on one thing, planning their next quarter. But before we got into it, we did this one thing first. You ready for it? All right. This one thing is review your past quarter. Review your past goals. Now, why do we want to do that? Well, for a couple of different reasons. But first off, when you look, when you look back at what you've done the past quarter, and I want you, when you do this, I want you to think about all of the things that you did. The good, the bad, and the really not so great, right? We want to look at everything. We want to be honest with ourselves. Sometimes it's really hard to be honest with ourselves, to really take a look at what we've done. But here's the thing, we got to celebrate those wins. We got to celebrate the things that we did do really great. We also got to take a look at the things that weren't so great and see where did we go wrong? How can we tweak this? You see, the goal never changes. The goal is the goal and you always want to stay focused on that goal. However, your strategy, your plan of action, the method and the way that you hit that goal could change. And that is absolutely okay. But if you don't know what you did, how do you know what to tweak to change it, right? Time and time again, we keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. You all know it, what does that mean? That's insanity. That's doing the same thing over and over, but respect, uh, not respecting, expecting a different result. And that's not what we're gonna get if we keep doing the same thing. So it's important for us to take a step back, take an honest look at what it is that we did. And let me tell you, when you look back at what you do, you're like, ah, dang it, yeah, I didn't do that. Oh, I focused on here, I focused on this. So when you're going through that, you wanna look at, okay, what were you focusing on? Where were your wins and why were those wins? Where did you struggle and why did you struggle? Maybe you said, maybe you had a goal to increase your Instagram followers, right? Maybe that was one of your goals and it, you didn't quite 
get to where you wanted? What did you do that maybe you could change for this next quarter, right? Or this next month? You got to look at what did you do? Reflect back. A lot of the times it's like, okay, done. It's over. It happened. Let's move forward. Absolutely. I absolutely agree. We always need to keep moving forward. However, we have to take the time to reflect back. That is what successful people do. That is what's going to make you different than anybody else. Because you're going to look back, you're going to reflect, and you're going to know exactly what you need to change. All right. So number two, after you've kind of reviewed your past, you know, whether it's a it's a mind map, which is what I highly suggest, um, but whatever it is that you do, however you think methodically, I want you to write everything down that you did, good, bad, and the ugly, and then I want you to compare. What did you say you were going to do, right? When you set those goals out for Jan- on January one, what did you say you were going to do in this first quarter? Or if you didn't plan for the quarter, what did, you, what did you say you were going to do for this month? What was your number one focus? What was your target, right? When you have that and you look at what you actually did, compare. Compare those two. Where, where did we change direction? Where did we go off course? And how can we fix that, right? That's, that's all this is about is reflecting back, understanding what we did, how we did it, why we did it, and then moving into our new quarter. And as you move into your new quarter, I want you to do the same thing that you did with, with reviewing your past, I want you to, your past uh, quarter. I want you to look at everything that you did, everything that you did, or, or I'm sorry, everything that you wanna do in this new quarter. What is your focus for this new quarter? Um, where, where, what are the goals that you have, right? Write everything down. And then I want you to pick 10, no more than 10 things to focus on for this next quarter, for these three months, 90 days. I want you to think about 10 goals. And these 10 goals should absolutely be in alignment with what it is that you're focusing on for this year, for what your goals are for this year. It should automatically be in alignment. All right? If you've got any questions on how you do that, how to make that work, If you want uh, one-on-one time with me, let me know, reach out to me. I'll put a link down below or just PM me, guys. Like, just PM me. And we can talk about how I can help you get clear and focused because it is so important to know the direction in which we are going. If we don't know where we are going, how do we know when we get there? How do we know? How do we know what we did to get there? You gotta get clear, you gotta get focused, you gotta set those goals. All right, so your action item for today, are you ready for it? I bet you know what it is. It is to mind map, mind map your Q1, your first quarter, your past month, whatever it is that you planned for. I'd love for you to do a Q1 because I think it's so important to reflect back on all that time, those 90 days. A lot happened, guys, a lot happened. So take a look at what happened during those 90 days, mind map it out. Um, in any way that you feel comfortable with and put everything on there, everything. You want to be honest with yourself, honest with your business, honest in your relationships. Look at everything because it's your business is not separate from your relationships and your relationships are not separate from your business, right? Life happens and it all, all comes together and so you got to look at the big picture. All right, if you do need any help, please reach out to me. I'd love to help you mind map your past three months out and focus on Q2. All right, so announcements for today. Make sure that you grab your seat for success is not a secret because it is a system, and I'm going to walk you through that on Thursday afternoon. Go save your seat, April 6th. It's coming up. Link's down below in the comments, so make sure you grab that. All right, everyone, that is it for us today. Go out and be you and be amazing and have a great day. (laughs) Bye.